What happens to a painter who injures their hand? Sandra Lopez knows the answer to this better than anyone. After getting into OCAD University for Art, she had to rapidly change her decision for a career path. After choosing something a little more challenging, she fell in love. Originally, I really did like painting, but after an accident on my hand getting crushed in a conveyor belt, uh, that sort of went down the drain. So I wanted something to fuel my creative side. So I ended up searching around, seeing what I can do. And that's when I found photography. Photography was one of those things that, although may seem easy to do, it's so much technical work. And because I was a science student as well, it fueled my technological side with all like techniques, the softwares and everything but it also fueled my creative side that I had with painting. So I can create what I used to create by painting now in images and do digital artwork instead. So photography has just been my way to bring out what I can't bring out in paints anymore. Learning something new wasn't easy at all, but Sandra managed to get the ropes of it and also quickly adapt to her new lifestyle. Um, just being able to see my hard work come to life, seeing the images, how that interacts with society, like just to see people's faces on like either conceptual image that I've done or somebody ask, oh, like what's in this or what's in that, it's like how you did that. So it's just that, that questions of always, yo, hey, like I recognize your work, and I really would like to get to know you. It's that usually you see the photograph and not the photographer, but when we do gallery shows and stuff like that, that's when you see them. And my favorite part, it's being able to show people my work and see their reactions to it. One tragedy does not mean that one must give up. Sandra pushed forward and found a new calling that still let her artist roam free. I'm Jessica Leterio, Say News.